Hi, this is Pastor Drew, and I'm here with your Keeping Connected video for this Monday. We are actually doing a series this week on things that bring us joy, things that bring us rest, also known as Sabbath. And one of the things that I do when I am feeling stressed, when I'm feeling uh, just sort of uh, needing to find a sense of uh, peace and focus and uh, a spiritual practice for me has been baking. And so many of you have seen my Facebook posts about the different things that I baked and sort of those adventures. And so I thought today I would bake with you one of my new favorite recipes. So we're gonna bake brown butter chocolate chip cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies. I'm sure you love chocolate chip cookies. My mother makes the absolute best chocolate chip cookies. These are not them, they are a very close second. So if you want great chocolate chip cookies, talk to my mother. If you want also really good chocolate chip cookies, but just a little bit less, I reckon you make these. So I'll put the recipe down in the comments of this video and have fun, let's bake together. So first up is our brown butter. We're gonna take one stick of butter and put it on the stove and heat it up until it melts and starts to bubble. You wanna make sure it bubbles and doesn't burn, but once it gets some nice brown bits on the bottom, you wanna remove it, put it in a container that will help it to stop cooking so that it doesn't overcook. Next up is our butter and sugar. You're gonna take another stick of butter that's been uh, room temperature, mix it with dark brown sugar, and then add your vanilla, your white sugar, as well as your brown butter, and then combine all of that with one egg, one egg yolk, and make sure you mix all of that very, very well. Finally, you're gonna add in some flour, some salt, and some baking soda, and then comes the good stuff, the chocolate chips. I use fair trade chocolate, I recommend that, uh, but any sort of semi-sweet or dark chocolate will do, as well as some cacao nibs. Now cacao nibs are really good because they add a crunch without adding any nuts. I don't like nuts in my cookies, maybe you do, but I prefer cacao nibs because they are really good. And so this is where you mix it together, but you don't want to overmix it. So just a couple pulses to get things combined and you don't want to develop too much gluten. Look at this, isn't it tasty? All right, these are gonna be so good. All right. Now we do the fancy way of cleaning our kitchen. Done. Isn't that great? All right. So now that we've got a nice clean countertop, got his slogan. We are going to measure out these cookies. These are going to go into the fridge to chill for at least 30 minutes, maybe overnight. We'll see how long they last. See you in a bit. We're back. So the cookies have been uh, chilling in the fridge for uh, quite a while. So here we have them. We're gonna put them in the oven and see what they look like. And it has been about 12 minutes. Cookies are done. Best part of the cooking video is eating the goods. Let's see what they taste like. It's pretty good. You've got vanilla. Chocolate, some crunch from the cacao, and some nice nutty undertones from the brown butter. They taste like a rest, good times, nice break from the busy day. So, hope you make these, enjoy them, and have a great week.